John Bolton appears to say in his new book that Trump personally told him that he was withholding aid from Ukraine as part of this scheme to kind of blackmail Zelensky. I don't think anybody's shocked by this. Um, it's, of course, John Bolton was physically there in the Oval Office talking to Trump. So what does this change in terms of the equation of the Senate trial? I mean, it seems like, I hope I'm not overrating this, but it does seem like there is pressure now on Mitch McConnell increasingly to allow John Bolton, if nobody else, to testify in the Senate trial, if only to create the appearance of having given a fair hearing. And obviously McConnell doesn't want to do that because at every step of the way, it's been very clear that the more publicly, like the evidence is sort of played out in the public, uh, the more that Donald Trump looks guilty. And I, which is funny, because I feel at this point he couldn't look guiltier, and yet somehow he will look guiltier. I know that some Republicans have threatened, like, okay, if they want Bolton, we're gonna subpoena, you know, Hunter Biden and Adam Schiff, and who knows, Obama, Hillary Clinton, you and me, I don't know who the hell else, but, but, is, the, is there some danger of, 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 of it going down some crazy town road like that? Yeah, I mean, I think there's a good reason that Mitch McConnell doesn't want that to happen because he thinks it's fine for the House to just run their Benghazi circuses, all, this, all that they want. But like the Senate is supposed to have more decorum. Like he needs that sense of decorum to create the illusion that this is legitimate.